Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shunting of the Seven Sirens. So since last time I have um, played that minigame a few more times, and by a few more times I mean a lot. Many many more times until I finally did the, the, the perfect run, because it turns out that that was necessary to earn the squid reward, but I did. You can see I have three now. So only one away from the next health upgrade, which is nice. Um, I did get uh, quite frustrated, I must say, uh, because that's. Uh, it turns out that uh, not missing a single shot uh, isn't easy. Um, and it does not help that as soon as there's only like two or three of them left, uh, I always got extremely nervous and, you know, it's, that never helps. Anyway, I got... Uh, you can't just duck underneath those, huh? God, I... Please. I don't know what... Did I... I, uh, obviously, in the process of, um... Of doing all those minigames, or doing that minigame so many times... Ow, these things just don't die. Um, as it turns out, uh, you... It's relatively easy to make money, not a lot of money per game. It's not a, an extra... Not a particular one. Wow, this is these are awful. It's not a particularly fast way to farm money. God, this is how do you avoid damage here? This is. Uh, I mean, this is this is absolutely terrible. I'm just gonna die. Uh, I guess I did make some money, and I you know kind of don't want to start over. So let's just, I suppose, try to run through that screen and not not uh, try to stop and kill those things until we have a lot more damage upgrades. Anyway, um, so yeah, I didn't make a lot of money, so it's not a fast way to farm money, but I did make some money just over the course of many runs that I did, and I know for sure that I spent, uh, that, I, that I bought the uh, Max Attract for 100 something. I might also have gotten maybe the second shampoo upgrade? I want to say, um, I think I might have only had level 1 of shampoo and sil silky cream and yeah. So I'm... I kind of seem to remember only dealing 6 damage per hit, and now it's up to 7, so that's nice. Yeah. We're gonna... I'm gonna take damage. Nope, I didn't... Somehow... Wow. I... I... Can't believe I <laughs> somehow made it through all of that. I guess we wait for this one to shoot, then we wait for that one to shoot, and then we just... Get the heck out of there. I mean, yeah, that, that works. It's kind of awkward, but... You know, with any luck, we won't need to go through that area too many times. I guess I'm just gonna make use of the shield, which I have available. Hello? Rocket Archer? Rocket Archer? What? That's not a name I would have expected. <laughs> not how I would have described them. Okay, we need three rockets and flick more damage to their targets. Ah, I see. So there is a way to boost both the rocket speed and damage, which is neat. I'm... My guess would be that it probably increases it from 2 to 3, though. I can't imagine it being much more than that. I mean, maybe it could be doubling it to 4 damage? Although, that seems like it might almost be a little bit too powerful. Oh, God. And it's also worth noting that after that, maybe slightly induced by that uh, somewhat harrowing experience of, uh, of the minigame, um, but mostly, I want to say, just by by the fact that I had pre-recorded the first uh, four episodes relatively, in relatively quick succession, and uh, didn't need to record more, um, that led me to uh, not play the game for a couple of days, and you know, it's always enough to make me a bit rusty. So here we are. Okay. Anyway, we do have to keep to this. Uh, shapes on this useless object match the markings on this hatch. Hmm. Use the useless object. Sure. Here goes nothing. You used useless object. It turned out to be very useful. Okay. No sign of Risky, surprisingly. Definitely kind of expected her to show up. Oh, we're not returning up that way? Or do we, actually? We can just do this. Yes, okay. Climbing is indefinite. You only untransform automatically when you're on the ground. Okay. Uh, that's the wrong button. Resume, please. Right, no shortcut to the map. Okay, we want to go that way, apparently. Don't know how we know that? Hmm. And also, since since we do know that, I obviously 
the first instinct is obviously to head over here instead. We also need to actually do this at every possible opportunity. Because... Oh god. Hmm. There was a... There was one of those... Uh, what's her name? Plink? <laughs> Icons? Although I guess we have determined that those don't seem to really mean anything most of the time, or just ever, as far as I can tell. Oh. Well, there's an icon here. I did see something here. What? Oh. What? 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 Freaking invisible enemies? Are you kidding? Oh god, this is awful. I mean, I suppose they're not dealing a ton of damage, but... Maybe I reveal them like this? That would make sense? No. Huh. Something... Something popped up up here, but... There isn't anything. Game. What are you not telling me? Huh. Okay. Another seemingly lightning activated mechanism? Hmm. Well, we're certainly going to learn what to do about those. Eventually. Okay, another one of these. I forget if we already have the respective uh, card. Oh no. Oh god, how do you dodge those up close? I guess you don't. <laughs> this is probably the uh, unfortunate answer. Okay, hi there. Uh, that is the final nugget, maybe? Um, yes, yes it is. Okay, cool. If we can make it uh, out of here alive. Oh, did I see an enemy there? I sure did. Uh, I believe we might need more mermaid cards, technically. Hold on. Do we unmask these? Uh, yes, actually. Oh, okay. Second side achievement unlocked. No. Only because I can see them doesn't mean that I can actually not get surprised by them, apparently. Also, somehow we don't reveal them all at once or something. Also, we didn't reveal that thing, so I don't know. Is it random to an extent or... Oh, I'm, I'm sure there must be some kind of rules <laughs> to this, to how these work. How revealing things with this ability works. Maybe it's a... Uh, I mean, what would make sense is that it... Uh, if it's only a limited range and you only reveal hidden things within a certain radius. Maybe in the uh, in the uh, in the case of enemies. Oh wait, what's that? What is this thing? Uh, yeah, maybe in the in the case of hidden enemies, they also don't stay unhidden indefinitely, unlike those uh, destructible little thingies. I don't know. Uh, what is this thing? Yeah, and it looks like something's missing. Yep. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. So I suppose we can return. We can go down that. Shaft to the right and return there. Huh. And mysteriously, or magically, we also know that whatever we are looking for is apparently to be found down that way. Okay. I mean, I appreciate that the game keeps updating our objective automatically. Although there really aren't any... any options. <laughs> usually... Well, I mean, there are usually, I guess, maybe like two paths to go. One of which tends to pretty quickly turn into a dead end, so... Okay, right. Our enemies are just piling up. Thanks for that health, though. That's uh, definitely appreciated. Thanks for the extra card. I really wonder if we eventually find some kind of way to to make those useful. Uh, I don't like those things. Also, we cannot continue that way. Have we ever found its card? No, I guess not, huh? Because I never actually... Oh, this is kind of awkward because... Wow. So you have to basically just lizard as soon as <laughs> you screen transition or else you're gonna just fall back down. Yeah, awkward. Anyway, um, yeah, I decided that those things are just too awkward to to farm. Too awkward to fight for the, for the time being. Because they just deal, a, you know, a billion damage. Also, either a secret passage. You wouldn't happen to actually hide something you pulled, would you? Oh. I don't know. Not as far as I can tell. And in here we have nothing we can do anything about. We need some sort of 
ground pound attack there. <clears throat> Which might or might not be the same one that also allows us to smash those same blocks vertically. Oh, hey! I do remember this. Hello? Eh? Uncle! Yeah, also, uh, you might notice it, I certainly notice it, um, that the, uh, the the overall volume is now so low uh, that voices are actually kind of hard to kind of hard to hear. The problem is that this game does not allow you to uh, set volume separately for music, sound effects and voices, for example, or even just music and sound effects, uh, which is um, a real shame. Um, especially, I mean, the, mostly I would just like to reduce sound effects because those can be really overpowering, uh, you know, when you're just spamming attacks um, in hectic combats. Um, at the same time, uh, the mixing, you know, the, the fixed mixing that the game does not allow you to, to adjust is so that uh, sound effects just are really loud compared to music and voices, and um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, if I don't lower the, the volume to at least this level, and I hope it's it's okay now, I've, I've lowered it in, in, in steps uh, at least twice now, I'm, I'm, I really would like to not go lower than it is right now, but uh, yeah, uh, with how it is now, the sound effects should hopefully be fine, but uh, music and and voices are definitely on the low side, so that's unfortunate. Shante, what are you doing behind the wall? I've been looking for you ever since you fell from sight. You aren't hurt, are you? No, Uncle, I'm fine. Well, I mean, I took a little bit of a beating on the way here, but no big deal. Good. Your heart is set on finding those missing girls, I take it. Well, I have something that just might help. There's an opening in the wall here. I'll... Oof! Pass it through! Oh, a handle. I'm guessing that's what we need to insert into that... ...object that we found. Yeah, what is this thing? Oh, that's a valve handle. Folks have been using them to solve water themed puzzles for years. I... yeah, I guess. Valve handle. It's tradition. If you say so. Okay. That valve handle probably operates some mechanism nearby. Well, not that nearby, but yeah, thanks. Okay, convenient. Ignore those. Is there not? Nope, that's not the map shortcut. There is no map shortcut. Okay. No, there is a way down, apparently, from where Uncle Mimic is. Uh, well, yeah, but that's that must be behind that wall. I think we can reach right now, so... And just head back over this way. And yeah, just confirming that down here. Now there's that guy, and we need to be digging ability. And or oh, wait, never mind. You can make it to these platforms. Weird. Yeah, these I don't know. These these um, vertical screen transitions are just just odd sometimes. Wow, could you not? Anyway, there wasn't anything dangerous here. Use that? Yes. Uh, achievement unlocked. Race C level. Okay. That probably means that the item is now gone. Yeah. Missed my opportunity to read the description, which probably was humorous, as, you know, these things tend to be. Oh well. It occurred to me as soon as I used it. And I think it might not even be the first instance in this game where I uh, missed my chance to, to look at an item. Please give me some mana back, that would be nice. Also, there was something... something flashed up here, but there is nothing. Okay, weird. We did not get any mana. Oh, hi there. That's just outside of the... That's just the, the, the ocean outside of this uh, subterranean base, right? That's not like a tank where... That mermaid is trapped inside? No. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's the former. Oh, hi. You're a welcome sight. Thanks for the heart, too. Yeah, some, some way to restore uh, my, you know, mostly mana at this point would be uh, quite appreciated. And I suppose uh, there is a way. It's called 
farming enemies and hoping for mana drops. Well, I guess we're entering the dungeon. I don't suppose we have enough. Nope. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you know, it's it's kind of... It, I suppose it makes sense because it is magic, but it's kind of unfortunate that uh, these, uh, you know, exploration-related abilities actually take mana. Oh, okay. That's, that's what those things do. Noted. Need a key over there. There is something sparkling inside. Very non-subtle. Okay, no magic. Three squids to be found in here. Hello? Hello? What? Oh. Okay, I was expecting there to be an opening here, but there isn't. I just happened to find the correct side right away. But because I was hearing the... Uh... Oh god. Oh, oh god. That's eight damage. Are you kidding me? Yikes. Can I even damage you? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say keep doing that. But... And I mean, yeah. Maybe I just I need to wait for him to actually stop. Uh, stop to actually start spitting. Okay. Yeah, I was hearing the you know the crawling sound. That's why I thought that she was uh, still moving, but nope. Yeah. Anyway, those uh, rock monsters pretty dangerous as as it turns out. Okay, you're new. Can we damage you at all? No. I mean, not like this. Huh. Nope, not like this either. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Nope, not like this either. Well then. Huh. Maybe we stomp you with the... You know whatever ability that allows us to crush rocks. That would make sense, I guess. Um, oh, wait. That actually does something. Maybe that's a reset? Uh, certainly seems like we maybe insert a key here and then we can start solving this sliding puzzle? No, why, why do I keep pressing that button? Um, okay. So wait up. Well, I guess that thing in the ceiling there might end up opening. Here we could dig down if we had that ability. Right. Hmm. I guess I can just make that jump, yeah. Very dicey though. Let's quit. And some healing as well. Hmm. Wait. There must be... Okay. There must be something I'm missing. I don't have any kind of key. Okay, maybe I'm just missing something in that puzzle room after all. Oh, you you know what? Yeah, okay. I never tried attacking them, and we've definitely seen similar puzzles before. So we want... What do we want? Also, yeah, we can kick that one more over. I don't know, I'm guessing we want to line this up with... Actually press down. Okay. Well, that's very easy. Interesting. Is there possibly something else we can do here? I'm guessing that there are probably going to be other puzzles that work in the same way as this. This was just the very easy introductory version of it. I didn't realize. Right. First of all, you do have to actually press up to grab the chain. Don't. Just grab it automatically, which uh, I don't know. I guess I must have just done instinctively the first time around. Then you actually press down while hanging on the chain to pull on it more, which makes sense because you can just definitely just willfully make you make yourself heavier. <laughs> I, I feel like we've seen something similar in in one of the past games where yeah, you basically could do the exact same thing. Oh god, why? I, why did I just walk off that cliff? That makes no sense. Uh, that's never stopped me before, of course, but still, kind of kind of odd. Okay, this is mildly awkward. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Was gonna say I should have just dashed. 
there's definitely a, a save point right after this. Oh crap. That's outside the dungeon. Just outside, but still. Okay. Yep. I mean, I did not expect those things to deal that much damage, but of course, as soon as I... As I learned, just how hard they hit, I should have absolutely played it safe. But I, I, I was so sure that I was gonna be able to do that very easy jump, which I, I mean, really should have been able to do. Okay, I mean, I guess on the plus side I found this in little passage that I didn't find before. Yeah, that makes uh, <laughs> that makes it all worth it, I'm sure. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, obviously we, you don't have to see this again. I shouldn't have to see this again, but um, I kind of do, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna try and speedrun my way back to where I just died. Except minus the dying. And I'll see you there in a second. Okay. I mean, to be fair, getting back here took maybe three minutes at most. It turns out that uh, you can traverse places a lot faster by just not, you know, taking your time at every single step and also not... Oh, what the heck? You. Oh? Surely that has to do with some sort of puzzle solution. So the robot melts when touching a hot plate. I have to try it. Yep, of course. Thankfully, it's only one damage. I mean, honestly, that could have easily just instant killed me. If the game had been extremely mean, that would have been unfortunate. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, just not stopping everywhere and uh, talking about everything. Uh, saves a lot of time. Okay, what are we looking at here? I do not have the mana to reveal secrets, unfortunately. This definitely seems like... I mean, there have to be some sort of secrets here. Oh god, how would you do this? I guess you would lizard your way onto... onto that block to the right, and then... Uh, I don't know. Really? Just try to time it perfectly with the... jumping off just as the... Uh, as the spikes retract. That seems awful. That seems terrible. Okay. Also, leaving the room, just... Leaving this room just briefly did not make that little robot respawn. So what's worth? Hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe that's not... I, I also don't see how that could have really been any kind of puzzle up there. Maybe it's just to introduce you to the concept of... Uh, those, you know, hot floor plates, and that they can damage both enemies and you. Oh, okay, let's check this out. Hey, thank goodness for the save point. <laughs> it's uh, much appreciated. Makes me feel a lot safer. Ironically. Well, not ironically at all. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Another one of these guys. Just wait for him to spinch, and then just wait on him. Unfortunately, it seems like with my current attack speed and power, yeah, I'm just about three-ish hits short of being able to just finish him off. Also, it does not seem to actually matter at all whether I start attacking immediately. Okay, actually, now that I've learned that, uh, that, it, that attacking him instantly does not actually cause him to, to roll. That's just completely random. Uh, that way, you, you can, if he, just, if he does decide to stay, um, you can actually finish him off in one cycle, that's nice. Uh, right, cards, golem, instant unlock, I do appreciate that. These would be awkward, if not impossible to farm. I guess not impossible, probably, because obviously we didn't get the card from the first one, so it's still a random chance. And there are definitely gonna, are gonna be more of these guys that actually respawn. I'm guessing the ones that we fought so far in these kill rooms do not respawn, though. Increase the number of dropped gems. I mean, that's... Obviously, I have to take that. No spike damage? I mean, I... You know, honestly, with that one... Since we do have that one... That does make uh, make that room uh, a while ago with those uh, two spike blocks, for example. Quite a bit less daunting. I suppose I'll still take damage when I, when I fall into the pit, which is almost guaranteed to happen, but at least not from, from actually touching the spikes. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's nice. I guess we don't really need the climbing speed. I'm also really not. I'm also not using food nearly as much as I should. But uh, I still want want this equipped for 
when I actually do. Uh, okay. That thing to the right there, actually. Hold on. Is that something we can do? Uh, I don't see it. What's this all about? Hmm. Okay, thanks for the key. We haven't seen the locked door yet, but uh, we haven't been all the way down that, that room a while ago. Keep, I'm gonna keep pressing that button, trying to open the map. It just seems so natural to me, but nope. Um, yeah, okay. We still haven't found a single mana drop, unfortunately, so... Until we get lucky, until we actually find some kind of enemy to kill, in fact. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay. You just shoot. Oh, and again, it just instantly landed on the... Or... I mean, I, I didn't really see... Um, but certainly this, this portal didn't just didn't get created by the by the robot dying, right? It just happened to... Just so happens that, that both the robots we've killed so far just landed on one of those and died that way, right? It's, I guess that's what's happening. Although it's not entirely impossible that those... Yeah, no, those are definitely there before. I mean, no, I wonder though. Obviously, it's not me killing them, so... That might rob me of, of a chance to actually get a drop from them. Okay. Well, yeah gonna hope that there are uh, less awkward ways to, to farm them or places to farm them at some point so I can get that card a little bit a little bit more conveniently okay another key that one the one was easy oh god okay um digging ability in this dungeon maybe there are lots of digging spaces in this one in fact yeah that's pretty much the only obstacle here so that would make sense I mean, the only obstacle if you don't count those crystal enemies that presumably you need the stomping or crushing or whatever ability. Uh, it's gonna go back up, yes. Okay. Still scary, uh, because presumably instant death. Is there anything hidden here? If so, I don't see it. Okay. I'm gonna assume that we didn't miss anything for now. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this down. There's another one of those things in the wall. Interesting. Okay, and another one of these. Is this any more difficult? Oh, that's not the one I meant to hit. That being said... Uh, oh, this is actually easy. <laughs> the biggest difficulty is actually hitting... Wait. Yes, yes, it's easy. Actually, it just... No! See, the biggest difficulty is actually hitting the the row that you want to hit. There we go, yeah. Okay, and pull. There we go. Okay. Thanks for the heart. Hmm. I guess I don't... I need to oh god, I forgot that these are... Oh, I actually technically died to the spikes. Convenient. Okay, yeah, uh, I forgot that those are collapsing platforms. Uh, oh, okay, no problem. Absolutely no problem. That was a safe point. Appreciate it again. Hmm, would it be smart to stop here? Now, nah, certainly we're super close to getting this dungeon's ability, and then... Oh? Or maybe we have another mini-boss fight. You know, maybe we'll deal with Risky and, and save the game afterwards, and then call it an episode here? We'll see. Depending on how this goes, I guess. Hold it, Runt! Risky boots. In fact, wait. We haven't really encountered her before. I mean, we've seen her, but she didn't acknowledge our presence back then. For some reason, I, I kind of thought that we already fought her before? Or did we actually? Did we run into her? 
I feel like it did. For for a mini boss fight in in the first dungeon. Uh, it, again, it's been a few days. I should remember, but you know, it's uh, either way. I, I don't think it was a particularly memorable encounter. Yeah, no, I'm I'm almost certain. The, the more I think about it, I'm I'm pretty sure that we actually did fight her. Anyway, risk boots. So. You weren't behind the abductions after all. Wait, how how do we how did we determine that now? I guess from what Plink told us, or no, actually we don't know. I don't know. It's the work of those creatures. What creatures? We've heard about those things from underground. The uh, yeah, the the like what should we call it? <laughs> the natives of the island from the from the jungle, the hidden jungle village. Uh, told us about things from underground, so I guess that enough was uh, that was enough to convince us that it wasn't actually Risky's doing after all. Oh. But what are they, and where are the others? Oh, ho, ho. are you asking Risky Boots, the Queen of the Seven Seas, for help? Huh? The true rulers of this island are not the land lovers up above, but rather the sirens that dwell down below. Well, there's one less of them. Like in the title of this game? Wild, I know. Seven in all. Oh, only six now. Five that rule over their domains. One wretched runaway. Hmm, one wretched runaway, you say? That wouldn't be the... the the green... Um, half-genie? That obviously isn't a half-genie? I mean, I was thinking that she looked kind of like the the zombie people, and even very much like... Uh, like Rotty Tops, but... Hmm. I wonder. One wretched runaway. And the one whom they all serve. Hmm. If you wish to save your friends, you must destroy the Seven Sirens. <gasps> but first... You'll have to get past me. Why? What? We don't even question it. No, I, I guess... Why would we? It's Risky Boots. Let's go. Ouch. Actually... Oh. Holy crap, wait, did I just take 12 damage, despite the shield? Isn't that supposed to, like, shield me? Am I crazy? Protect yourself from enemy pro Oh, it's projectiles. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's find out how much a uh, health potion heals. Oh, okay, at least, I want to say four full hearts. That's, that's nice. Oh, and also we're completely out of mana now. So, yeah. Oh, thanks for the mana, speaking of which. Oh god. Um, let's see here. Oh. What dealt 12 damage to us before? Was it something she shot? But then, that would have been a projectile, right? Oh, god damn it. Oh god. No, oh, that's just, those are 3 damage. Okay, you know, it's it's fine. Let's eat one of these, and I suppose one of these. Oh, that's also mana. Interesting. That did restore... Both. My, my. Some health and a little bit of mana, pretty sure. Huh. My, my, you're persistent. You needn't worry. I didn't come to this island to capture your friends. Those sirens can do whatever they want with them. I'm after the real treasure. Okay. Color me intrigued. Ta-ta. Treasure? What in the world is she talking about? Hmm. What in the world indeed? What, really? Wait, there's nothing here. Uh, Okay. Fair enough. Well, we did get some mana restored for what it's worth. Um, yeah, that's neat. This did take a couple minutes, so yeah, I think I'm actually gonna, you know, in the spirit of t uh, keeping these episodes kind of on the short side, you know, under 40 minutes, say, um, I will make a cut here and we'll continue and finish this dungeon, pretty sure, next time. Um, Probably finding that digging ability in the process. We'll see what cute animal transformation that's going to involve. And um, yeah, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.